It's going to be a night to remember at Marlins Park, not for the Marlins, they're on their way to Philadelphia, but for the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas varsity baseball team. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at Marlins Park to explain. Hank? Well, Derek Jeter reached out to the Stoneman Douglas team, said, what can we do? Well, it turned out to be quite a bit. Let's take a look. They have soldiered on despite the tragedy and heartbreak. The Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Eagles baseball team have a winning record. Through it all, they've kept their eye on the ball, and the Miami Marlins have noticed, and they've lent huge support. Here they are at the Marlins spring training just after the shooting, meeting the Marlins players, team manager Don Mattingly. A heavy burden for one and all, for team members, those memories likely to never be erased. But there is strength in numbers, and the ball players stuck together here at one of the many gatherings at Parkland's Pine Trails Park, where the Parkland community came together. And then there was Cubs first baseman Anthony Rizzo, a Stoneman Douglas graduate. He and the Marlins invited the team, parents, and victims to Marlins Park to throw out the first pitch. Somewhere along the way, the Marlins invited the team to play one of their games in Marlins Park. So tonight, and here are the pictures, the team in the stadium locker room meeting Marlins players and getting set to play Coral Springs in a regular season game. Well, they're pretty starry-eyed, I guess. You know, it's not very often you get to play on a big league field, right? So enjoy the opportunity, take it all in, and let it all hang out. But what's the emotion like right now? What's the emotion like? Uh, another game. Another game. I mean, that's... 11 games in the season. We're here to play a district baseball game, and we're going to do everything we can to try and win the game. So, you have some time. Come on down, catch a few innings. Admission tonight, absolutely free. So is parking. Time to play ball. I'm Hank Chester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.